time for Nerdgasm. Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, aka Barnacles, and we're getting a tour of Inventables from Michael Una. Alright guys, so we're sitting here in the Inventable offices. They actually have a warehouse space and an office space. This is the office space. Right here you can see they got refrigerators, they got all this stuff, they got big old things and stuff. And they do right on the walls. Yeah, they, they, they really do like to write on the walls here. <laughs> and check out this huge false wall. That's where they, they hide all their illegals working back there. They literally write everything on the walls here. See, this is the plan right here. Material, then design, equals machine. It's a cycle. Isn't that right? Cycle. That's that right there. That's the, that's the Inventables business model. This is a 3D carving. This is cool. So guys, so this, this is what, uh, this is what Carvey's gonna do, right? Yes. So if you look at it right here, I mean the detail on this, is amazing. It's absolutely smooth. But this all just started as just a flat board, right? Yeah. That's just amazing. Here's some other stuff that they have. Bottle stand here, some glass frames, uh, even an iPhone case that's really, really cool looking. So you can do a lot of stuff with these little CNC machines. It's just, it's just badass. All right, so here we have a bunch of materials that you can use with the car V here. You got plastics, acrylics. Uh, I don't even know what the hell is this. <laughs> What high density polyethylene. High density polyethylene, is that like foam? Uh, it's like a uh, heavy plastic. It's like what they use in like cutting boards. Oh! So this is food grade, restaurant quality plastic you can carve in. So I can actually make my wife cutting boards? Yes. That's a huge win right there. All right, and you see right here, I mean, just to see some of the detail this thing can do, this is on metal. I mean, look, look at it, it's like, it, it's cut through, it's etched, it's, that's badass. You can do some really neat stuff with this, but you know, you can use wood. I plan to use mine to cut some wooden spoons. And yes, I have been promised a unit to review for you guys. So definitely keep an eye out for that video in the future. A lot of you guys really, really wanted me to test this thing. So, I mean, I took it one better. Right? I actually came to Chicago, visited the whole facility and talked to them into sending me one. So thanks for letting me know about it, guys. All right, so we're in the conference room right now. These guys love to draw on the walls. And here are some examples of machine names that you guys have come up with that are fantastic. You have Prime Minister Carve, that's a good one. Baron Von Carvington, Senator Milby, Miller Millmore. What is this? Fool, what is, what's fool, fool on the Mill. Fool on the Mill. Milfred. What do we got down here? This one right here? Sir Carves a Lot. Sir Carves a Lot. In Run of the Mill. I like Run of the Mill. Yeah, I say Grumpy Mill. And of course, you've got the Grumpy Mill because the Grumpy Cat knows all. And when he wasn't looking earlier, I came in here and drew on the walls too. I figured they wouldn't mind. All right, so we're in a little corner with that false wall over there that wasn't there before. Here, open it back up. That's creepy. I want to show that. That, you totally wouldn't know. <laughs> I need one of those in my house, dude. Although my wife already knows every room in the house, so it wouldn't do me any good. Now, some cool examples of some of the stuff that the car can do, I have right back here. So we got like this, this is like a little light bulb stand. And this thing is actually, it's even, what do they call those, a Nixie bulb? Is that what those are? Or, uh, it's close, Edison. Edison bulb, okay. And then over here, this is the cool thing right here, is this looks really cool. This is a lampshade, but it's actually cut out of cardboard. That's awesome. So. And so you can actually use cardboard as a material on this thing. Mm -hmm. That's freaking amazing. You can see depending on which way the corrugation is facing, you get different like patterns. That is awesome. So you can see these are all just cut rings that are stacked and glued together, right? Yep. That's neat. So you no longer have to throw away your cardboard boxes. You can actually feed them to this machine and make art out of them. They also did some cool electronic projects here. You can see this uh, thing's enclosed with all the LEDs. Uh, got the super annoying sound generator. Pull that out. I want to see the super annoying sound generator again. This thing's awesome. Everybody needs one of these. Fired up! Yeah, that wouldn't piss your neighbor's dogs off. Do you seriously just sit around the office and just piss off the employees with that? Yeah, I, I figured you did. So the cool thing is you can use this thing to make enclosures for electronics and stuff like that. And I actually would like to use it for using to build cases for, oh my God, that noise. Ah. All right, well, we pretty much 
much saw all they have in this office. Uh, it's kind of a new office space, so you can see there's like not really a whole lot going on here, especially on this side. I mean, this is a big empty room. These guys need to work on their interior design. So we're gonna head down to the warehouse area. That's where all the business happens. All right, guys, so this is where the magic actually happens. This is the Inventables little warehouse. Everything that they do ships from here, which is actually pretty amazing. I mean, right from here in Chicago. I wasn't expecting that. Usually when I order something from a website, I expect it to come from China or, or Amazon. All right, let's see it. You have, to have a, you have to have a little RFID thing to get in here, so don't even think about it. Oh, here it is. So you guys can see this, the warehouse has all the material you could ever think and dream of that uh, old Carvey can carve into. So, and probably some materials that you probably shouldn't, I don't know. You know. Yeah, I don't think you should probably carve into these. Yeah, if you have a Carvey, do not carve into electronic devices. You can kind of use it to help make electronic devices though, you huh? Could, yeah. You just can't carve into them. Okay, I understand. All right, so we just have rows and rows of material here. What do we, what do we have here? Your favorite HDPE. Oh yeah, we just talked about that stuff. Cutting, do, can we just call it by its real name, cutting board material? Cutting board material. All right, so we have cutting board material. Yep. So I'll make a, all I gotta do is make a cutting board for my wife and it justifies having that machine and it should for anybody else also. Ooh, acrylic. So acrylic is the, uh, I mean, case designers and stuff love acrylic. I know acrylic's really, really popular for creating like fan brackets and even whole cases in some. Yeah. some places so that's Local that's really cool oh yeah that's a big part of my audience we also cater to uh junior high school girls Ooh, we got the flamboyant materials going on here yeah we have the world's largest selection of glitter acrylics C glitter acrylics <laughs> and the carvey works with all this stuff too yeah that is fantastic you can so also laser these dude that's like mesmerizing yeah i like this it is, this is rainbow glitter so you can cut fishing lures that's yeah. awesome this one, uh, this one's cool. It's really three dimensional. Ooh. It's like confetti embedded in a. Uh, oh, is, is it like? Is it smooth? It doesn't. It. Oh wow! It yeah. doesn't look smooth, but it is. Yeah. And just shelves and shelves and shelves and shelves. Yeah, and you guys, I don't know if you've seen this stuff. It's it's really amazing. I've seen people make entire racing cockpits for simulators out of this stuff. And this is exactly the kind of stuff that you can use for like building, you know, like CNC machines and things like that, right? That's what we do. Which is exactly why they have piles and piles and piles. Hey, now you were telling me earlier that you guys literally check every single thing that comes in yeah. for quality control. So like before you put it on the shelf, you make damn sure that it's right so you're not sending out people bent rods and dinged up and banged up rods. Yeah, you make sure they're straight, you run your finger along all the edges, make sure they're not dinged and bent, no scratches, and then we also have a method to check to make sure that they're like straight, yep. they aren't warped or bent. Yeah, I saw your guy doing it earlier. It looked like a pretty meticulous and monotonous process. I would definitely do a background check on him. All right, so what do we have here? This is starting to look a little bit like a radio shack. Yeah, so these are all the rest of the parts you would need. So, for example, here are bearings. Mm -hmm. So put these on your wheels, let it roll around. Lisa stocking. Hello! Yeah, so these are all the rest of the parts that help you assemble things into things that move, pull together. Uh, so these are all the bins of the hardware that connects all the stuff over there so that you can cut all the stuff over there. Yes. I got it. Oh, and this is the cool part. Remember we talked about how you can cut up cardboard boxes? Well, when they ship you something, guess what it comes with? A cardboard box. No more having to break it down and give it to the recycling people. Instead, you can turn it into lampshades. Oh, got wood? Here you go. All right. So we got all different types of wood here. Whoa. That's actually really pretty. Yeah, this is called Paduak. It's uh, some people call it Red Heart. Mm -hmm. No, that is cool. And you guys sell all the stuff on the Inventables.com site, right? Yeah, one of the things we try to specialize in is selling small quantities of single pieces. Mm -hmm. So if you're working on a project, you just need one piece of something. Right. You can have that instead of buying a giant piece and having to rip it down. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so this is a companion to Red Heart. This is called Purple Heart. <laughs> Dude, that's cool. So it's the color of the wood. Oh, it's not stained or anything. No, it's not stained. This is what color it is. That is insane. No, that is cool. Oh, this is my world right here. So we got just an entire aisle dedicated to 3D printing filament. So you guys know that's kind of that's kind of my thing. But uh, here pretty soon when I get my Carvey, it's going to be a little 3D printing and carving. And I already told him that I plan to merge the two together. We're going to pick some projects where, yeah, yeah, my, my machines are going to be getting it on, bro. It's all right. It's all right, I'll make sure they practice uh, safe CNC. All right, so here's some cool stuff. This is bamboo plywood. Ooh, look at that. It's bamboo on the outside and plywood on the inside. Yeah, and the ply, it's bamboo in here also, just oh. laid in a different pattern. 
So uh, super strong, really rigid. It doesn't flex. That's this cool. It's a sustainable wood. Sustainable is good. I know bamboo grows hella fast, right? Yeah. So grows fast. Uh, doesn't you know? You're not chopping down old trees. Too is it pretty cheap compared to like uh, some of the woods too? Yeah, it's about comparable to uh, like a nicer plywood. Oh, okay, well that's that's actually not bad because plywood's like dirt cheap. Yeah. <laughs> now you're talking about some of the exotic woods that you have down here. Selection. And of course you put them down on the bottom shelf yeah. where they're easy to run away with. All right, well, you know, I'll be taking advantage of that later. Edit that out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what do we have here? So this is a selection of some of the exotic uh, hardwoods we have. We have them in all different sizes and thicknesses. Mm -hmm. So this is some Wenge. It's an African hardwood. Really Never even heard of it. Uh, this is Paduak, the same red heart we saw over there. Yep. This is... Leopard wood. Uh, yeah, <laughs> leopard wood. We also have zebra wood. This is zebra. This is leopard. You're joking, right? And this is marble. <laughs> marble wood. Dude, I'm, I'm dead are you dead serious? I was just joking, and that's wow. That is literally called leopard wood. Wow, they named that really appropriately. That is the intuitive wood. It's kind of weird walking around in here because it looks like a giant lumber store, but you go to lumber store and there's like huge sheets of wood and really long boards, and it's like you guys got like lumber stores for like. I don't know, small woodland creatures. One of the things we try to do is stock pieces that are already sized for you to put into your CNC machine or laser cutter or whatever. So some people who work in like an apartment yep. or you don't have a whole like wood shop at home, you just want to be able to get that piece, put it down and like make something on it. Yep. So that's generally the sizes of things we stock. Plus from a shipping perspective, it just makes sense, right? Yeah, it's really tough to ship something. That's like <laughs> too long. Tell me about it. I shipped some stuff out through USPS the other day and I was like, serious? That is expensive. This is all the, what we call inspirational materials. Inspirational uh, materials. It's all the kind of crazy stuff that you can make crazy things with like conductive thread. Conductive thread. So this thread woven with, I believe, stainless steel fibers in it. Oh, whoa. So you can sew LEDs in a clothing, make um, Velcro switches that as you zip up your hoodie, it lights up the lights on your hood. Dude, Not that's awesome. Giant spools of that. We have conductive foam. This is stuff they ship electronic parts in, but uh, you can use it as a resistor, and as you squish it, the resistance changes. That's cool. So it's like a pressure sensor. So you can run current through that and basically stomp on it, and it'll it'll change the resistance on it. Yep. That's insane. This is copper fabric. Whoa. Shiny copper fabric. So similarly, the entire fabric, the surface is conductive. It looks pretty pliable too. You could probably make a shirt out of that. Yeah, you? you can run this through a sewing machine. That'd probably rip your nipples off after a while though, wouldn't it? Yeah, chafing. Yeah, it'd be worth it though. We also have lots of things that glow in the dark. Photoluminescent tape. Um, here's some flexible and sewable LED strings. Oh, wow. These are strands of LEDs that are already there and they have like a little bit of fabric on the edge so you can sew so that So you can in. work them in. That is yeah. awesome. Yeah, so we have a bunch of stuff like that for like e-textiles um, and all the sort of wearables everybody's talking about now. Yeah, you guys definitely have a really diverse set of stuff. That's for damn sure. It's kind of a little bit of everything to make almost anything. Very cool. Hey guys, they also carry the Ninja Flex material. You guys have seen me print cell phone cases and stuff with like that. It's really cool. Looks like they have the black and white right here. This stuff is amazing. If you get a 3D printer, this is a must have material. All right, so right here we have a book. This is Identifying Wood. It's a great book. I highly recommend you get it for your wife or significant other. So Sarto, give it no, give like you have some idea for the warehouse to make it better. Oh, let's put a giant bubble all over the ceiling to keep the hot air in. Okay, Arturo, I respect your opinion. <laughs> Put that on so uh, Wyatt knows that we're getting independent thoughts in here. We'll have to squash that as soon as possible. That's very smart. That's, that's thinking smart. Mm -hmm. Hey look guys, more stuff you can make out of your cardboard boxes. Why throw them away when you can make fake animal heads and stick them on the wall? All right guys, well I saved the best for last. This right here is pretty much where you guys got all your machines set up uh, that they're testing with. And uh, we just did something on the laser cutter. Check this out. Ooh, that was very sparkly. Sparkly. Very. All right, so you're inserting it into this uh, this pizza oven here. Yep. That's our little beam. All right. I'm grab my focus tool. Right. Tells you the focal depth of the beam. That's cool. Okay. I guess All right. We're go. All right. So we're gonna. Do some things. This is what we're gonna cut. Maker Lab. Make it so. There we go. Ooh, burning. Fire. All right. 
right, so this is fresh out of the laser cutter. You can kind of see what it's gonna say here, but we gotta use a little force to pop those out. It's funny, the sparkles actually deflect the beam of the laser, so it's harder to cut through a sparkly material than it is a regular. It actually kind of makes sense, though. Yeah. I wonder what happened if you just stuck a mirror in there and tried to cut it. Would it just fry itself? We have mirrored acrylic. It is, you gotta cut it from the other side. Oh. Because otherwise, yes, it will reflect the beam around. That's crazy. See, another reason why sometimes you need a CNC and not a really expensive laser cutter that makes your whole room smell like burnt plastic. Yes. Well, those sparklies decide to kind of be a little bit of a butthole. <laughs> so we got a couple of broken letters, but you can see that's yeah, really cool. It's actually like really, really clean cut, but you'd expect that. I mean, it was a freaking laser beam. Thank you for giving me a tour. Oh, hey, no, no problem. Uh, absolutely, that was great. And, uh, oh, 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 who are? All right, Michael, thank you for giving me the tour of Inventables. Now we have to go somewhere and probably get drunk and talk to a lot of really smart people. Yeah. All right, see you guys. Till next time. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Also come over to Twitter, I'm at Barnacles. I'm a real social guy. Also, if you have a couple of minutes, check out some of these many other videos. I made them myself.